What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Devin saying he wants to get the C58 Dark Aether, but we can't use Meal Kick or Stamina Up, and we're going to do it on Mauer. So that's what we're going to be getting done today. Also, I forgot to say this while I was recording, but here's the list of weapons we have left to complete. Make sure you pick from this list when you're suggesting what weapon you want us to do next. The top voted comment will be the weapon that we do next. Oh, yeah. And he also said to use Frost Blast. I don't know how happy I am about that. I feel like I just end up won't using Frost Blast unless I'm in a bad situation, but. Ring of Fire definitely helps get these camos done a lot faster. At least he doesn't say no dead shot. If you say no dead shot, your mom's a hoe. Just going to put that out there. But really quick for our C58, the attachments I'm using, I'm going to go with the Microflex LED today. Uh, the SOCOM Eliminator, Task Force Barrel, Ember Sighting Point, Bruiser Grip, 60 round mag because it's the highest mag we can get, uh, Speed Tape, and our SAS Combat Stock. And as for our camos, we're actually pretty close to having our Grunge camo done. We're at 2,000 out of 2,500 kills that we need. Uh, Liquid, we're at 1,300 out of 2,500, so we only need 1200 more crits not bad rush stroke we're pretty close as well 1600 out of 2500 vintage is done fauna is done topo is done and then infection we just need six more jackrabbit medals so not too bad i think we should be able to get this done pretty easily but the lack of ring of fire and the lack of mule kick might be a problem here because mule kick will drop us some ammo ring of fire also just helps us get as many kills as fast as possible so uh we'll see how this goes let's go ahead hop on mauer and get this thing done all right here we go flying on in and this should be an interesting grind first things first i gotta take off these subtitles i've had them on since we did our last easter egg but since we have been flying through those easter eggs uh we have our c58 blue like our starting weapon is now blue we're two Easter eggs from completing the super Easter egg. Yeah, I'm still going to cob reload with a six round mag. Get over it. But uh, we are very close to getting the super Easter egg done. So that way we can spawn in with purple tier weapon, which is pretty cool. But even just blue tier having this right now is pretty nice. It's very helpful for just getting our gun like done easier. The damage boost is insane. But I don't know if we've ever done a video on the C58. I think last time we did it on our main account, we might have streamed it. Because I was trying to look for like uh, any thumbnail we've done with the C58 to see if I had to like, you know, cut out a new one or if I could just grab one from an older video for our like live stream where we're getting this thing leveled up. But I don't think we've done it before. I know we've done it in multiplayer. We did a video on that. We even used it in Warzone, but not zombies. So this might be a first for our channel. And while we were getting it leveled up, uh, honestly, it did not seem too good. Uh, it might have just been the blueprint I was using. It's probably from some sort of battle pass or like free bundle that I got, but it, it was not doing very well. I also had like those speed mags that were only like 20 bullets in each mag, but they reloaded very quickly. But let's see if the 60 round, you know, changes my opinion of it. You know, maybe I was just reloading too much and it also wasn't doing too much damage, but now I have the task force barrel on it. I forgot to make the armor piercing barrel blueprint again. That's on me, but uh, we'll see how far we can get with this. Anyways, every time we're on Mauer, I have to talk about it. This painting has bubbles that come out of it for some reason, and we still have never figured out why. We thought it might be linked to the Super Easter Egg, but the Super Easter Egg was just a big disappointment. I mean, the, the weapon levels and everything are helpful, but why is it underwater over here? Somebody explain. Somebody figure this out and get back to me. Why does it do this? And it's the whole wall too, not just that painting. Anyways, enough of me talking about a painting. Let's head on down. I'm going to grab the loose chain from Stamina Up. Even though we can't grab Stamina Up, we can still take advantage of its loose change. Let's open this up. Grab our loose change from Speed Cola, and let's make our way down. Tempest, are you over here? Oh, you in this corner? No. Are you going to be out here on the road? Yup. Get out of here. Get smacked. Oh, free armor. Let's go. Give me that fuse as well. We'll grab the loose change from Jug and keep moving. Don't hit me, train. No hitting. I right, made it across. We got our loose change as a reward. Mauer is such an underrated map in this game. It barely got its time in the light with uh, Forsaken coming out not soon after. Or pretty soon after, I mean. Got a cool Easter egg on this map, too. And yeah, we're too broke to get into power. Gotta save up some cash. All right, now we have enough to open this door. I'm not touching that insta-kill. Not with the 10-foot pole. Loose change. Throw on the switch. Bust that open. And let me throw a fuse in. You screwed up the easiest task. Oh, Peck is such a dickhead. You screwed up the easiest task that you have, but then also yelled at me for picking up the fuse. Which one do you want, Peck, huh? You just want to be a dick? Oh, you just want to be a cocksucker? That's why you only got one eye, bitch. And now we need even more money to get into here. I always try to run through Mauer so fast at the start. I never have enough money to get all these doors open. Now we got enough. Pop it open. Tempest spawn. Get clapped immediately. Give me that fuse. Thank you. All you zombies can make like a tree and get the hell out of my way. All right, let's toss in our last fuse and get power on for good this time. Ooh, double points. We take those. 
Now let's go up and get pack punch on. What's up, gentlemen? Off the sativa, I see. Come on out, disciple. Yeah, disciple, you don't want this smoke. I'm, I'm gonna let you know right now. I'm gonna take out all your little friends and then I'll come for you. Because your friends got critical kills that I need. And you know what? I might just grab dead shot before I'm done too. Just to rub it in. Take that easy loose change. Come here, dead shot. And then I'll just dome all your all your pals. But not in the way you're thinking, disciple. The bad kind of dome. Like eating shot. Go ahead and fly up your disciple. See what happens. Yep, you can life suck me all you want. You can suck some other things too, but now you're dead. Now we have pack a punch on. What else could we get? So we can't get stamina up and we can't get mule kick, but we can get speed cola. Help us reload a little faster with the amount that we're cob reloading. We're probably going to need it. Don't know if it'll help too much with our field upgrade. I know we'll be able to get our field upgrade faster, but I'm probably not going to use it very much. So I'm trying to think of a nice area we can sit at that's going to have ammo that we can pick up. I'm thinking right here because we have an ammo crate right down there. So if we ever get low, we can just kind of zip line our way down but also i don't know how easy it's going to be to just stay up here without that ring of fire once the rounds start going up it's going to be a little difficult but we also don't have too much to do so we might be able to survive up here maybe we'll even go back down to power until we we can't survive down there but there's a glitch we got one more jackrabbit camo to go for all right and i think instead of getting another perk i'll probably just save until i have enough to get pack a punch oh max ammo beautiful zombies still do drop ammo pretty frequently though even without Mule Kick, but Mule Kick definitely just makes it so you don't ever have to worry about it. We just might have to buy ammo a few times. But I was running out of ammo quite a bit when we we're leveling this thing up. So it might, I don't know, it, it, it could put a damper on things. Could slow things down a bit, but we're gamers. We can get through it. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab Pack-A-Punch on this. And we'll throw on Cryo while we're here. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the C58. What it looks like with the Mauer first Pack-A-Punch tier. One of the best first Pack-A-Punch tiers in this game. One of the better Pack-A-Punch camos in this game overall. And it looks great. The C58 just has a really bad, like, inspect animation. Oh, that's not it. Please bring my gun out. There we go. Like, it, you just kind of move it to the side. You don't really pick it up. You don't get to see the whole weapon. But this is probably one of the weaker inspects in this game. Nice camo. Great coverage. Weak inspect. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go down to power room. I'm gonna wait till we're more towards the end of this round. I'll probably grab another perk, like quick revive, just in case. That way we can get that faster health regen and then be able to pick ourselves up if we get knocked down. Oh, there's conviction. All done with Jackrabbit. But then once we grab that perk, we'll head down to power and try to get through these rounds. Oh, little double points. We take those. Oh, and the round just ended. Damn. All right, let's grab quick revive. Almost grab stamina up on accident. Would have been bad. That's against the rules. And we got a Panzer. Great. Maybe we'll use Frost Blast against its Panzer. Come here, pal. Eat it. Eat the Frost Blast. Eat the Cryo Freeze as well. Oh, you're toast. Thanks for playing, dude. Give me that battery. Let's head on down. Uh, let's upgrade our armor as well, you know, while we're while we're in the neighborhood. Now let's see if we can survive in here for a little bit. There's no Ring of Fire thing is going to get messy. I can feel it. Oh, there's Threshold. So when we're at... 1,200 crits will be done. Now, it's probably different in a lot of regions of the world from like wherever you're watching this from. But recently, it's got, it's it's been getting pretty warm here in Michigan. I'm not complaining about that. You know, the, the, the weather is nice. It feels good. Not that I go outside, but the pollen is getting to me bad. I've been scratching my nose so much. Nose has been so itchy. It is just ridiculous. Like, I can't even sit here and, and breathe without my nose going like, hey, man, I'm itchy as hell right now. Well, it's been kind of ass. Hopefully, I get over it soon. I really wish I didn't have, like, a pollen allergy because that is so bogus. Actually allergic to outside. This thing actually has a lot of ammo in the reserve. A thousand bullets? That's insane. Let's see what it's at after we grab this max ammo. I never checked. So, first reload. I mean, we don't really need to, but... But it had like 100 or 1,060 rounds in reserve. That's really good for an AR. Maybe we'll be fine after all without this whole uh, meal kick thing. Because we got enough ammo to last us a while. Maybe it could last us until like each individual torment around where we can get those max ammos. But once we get into the later rounds, there's going to be way too many zombies for it to last that long. Oh, double points. I'll take those. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Something fishy's happening here. Whenever I reload my gun... The ammo comes out of the reserve and then goes back right to 1,023. I don't know what's happening. It will not go lower than that. So in me not grabbing Mule Kick, did we find an infinite ammo glitch? No, because now we're down to 1,005. Maybe I was just picking up ammo every time I went to go do it. 
That was weird. Okay, this thing's starting to get a little weak against elites and specials. So we're gonna have to go grab pack two in a minute. We also want to stay down here for as long as I can before going up, just so we can save the trip. So if we can save up enough to get pack two and three, then we're chilling. Here's a Torments around, and we, we still have a thousand bullets. Maybe we don't even really need Mule Kick when we do these grinds. No, we probably do for some of the weapons that have less ammo. This thing just seems like a behemoth. Oh, it's doing it again. I'll get a kill. Reload. It goes down from 1,023 back up to 1,023. It's like I'm reloading my gun and the bolts are coming from nowhere. Look at that. Reload. Back to 123. No ammo on the ground. I'm not even looking at... I don't see a single ammo on the ground. I shoot. Reload. Stays the same. Even with the max ammo. It's like I'm at max reserve ammo at all times. It must be busted. It's got to be a glitch. There's no way we actually have a thousand bolts. Oh, we got another Panzer. Here you go, Panzer. Freeze up. Let's do it again. It looks like it doesn't even affect him. Maybe it's because the ring of it has to hit him? I don't even know. And look, another max ammo immediately after a max ammo round. Love to see it. This gun's actually got quite a bit of ammo in it already. Like a hundred something rounds in the mag, a thousand in the reserve that doesn't seem to go away. Kind of busted. I'm actually curious to see if there is an ammo thing with a C58. Is that why you didn't want me to use Mule Kick? Because how are we always at cap ammo? I'm so confused. Well, if the C58's like busted like this, use it now while you can. Oh, there's our rotten camo. All done with our normal kills. Also picked up a double points. So we actually might be able to get enough money to go ahead and grab pack two and three. As long as we make the most out of it while we're using it. Gotta make sure we're cranking out as much money as possible while this double points is active. Not quite enough, but we're close. We just need a few thousand more. Okay, it's starting to take a little extra bullets to get these headshots now. I think it's like a two shot headshot at this point. Need to go grab that pack a punch, but... I want to also keep staying down here. I'm like stuck. I'm conflicted because we're holding our own down here, regardless of how weak the gun's getting at the moment. And we're not getting too many elites, so we don't really have to worry about back a punch. Okay, now it's getting a little more hectic down here. And there's a Panzer. So get frozen. Panzer, get frozen again. This thing does nothing to the Panzer. I'm going to put it out there. It seems like the Panzer just likes to ignore it. It seems like I'm just killing off zombies instead of like slowing this guy down. So I'm getting out of here. Fans are really poked a hole in my plans. Actually, can I upgrade real quick? I can. Let's get purple. All right, let's keep running before I get killed. I should have probably saved my armor or repaired it while I was there. But this Panzer wants to play? I'll play. No, I'll play, buddy. Just give me one second. Grab that to pack two. Here's the pack camo real quick. Not going to inspect it. Here's pack three because we need it right now. And we'll do a quick inspect on pack three. Here it is. Oh, I just got mollied. Hold on. Please inspect. All right, hold on. We're going to have to take this guy out first. Listen, dickhead. I'm trying to show these people the pack bunch camo and you're making it annoying. So sit down. Anyone else? Oh, these guys. There you go. All right. Now this is pack three on the C58. Not bad. Pretty nice. We got the all purple pattern right now. The blue pattern's coming in. Two best looking combinations there. But then that weird yellow brownish comes in. It's like, why even do that? It throws the whole gun off. It doesn't look good with that. But it's whatever. Great coverage on it though. Dark Aether are going to look crazy on this. Might as well get some more perks while we're here too. Just got to remember, can't get Mule Kick, can't get Stamina Up. Can't get Mule Kick, can't get Stamina Up. I got to remind myself because I will just mindlessly grab everything. Okay, so let's get Death Perception. What else do we get? I guess Jug will help. And then besides that, maybe PhD and then that's all we can get really. Let's try to run to the armor stand before this round starts. I can't be doing this with no armor. And the spotlight's on it. Perfect. Exactly what you want to see. There's armor level three, baby. All right, I'm going back down. Let's go chill out in electrical. See how long we can last. Oh, it is getting a little hectic down here. A lot more zombies than before. But we got a lot more ammo before and a max ammo to keep it going. Basically a pseudo ring of fire. Because I want to see what this would be like with ring of fire, honestly. If our, like, reserve ammo is not going down at all, maybe we can just sit there and shoot ring of fire, like, infinitely. I think after we get Dark Aether, I'll test it. I'm not going to use it at all until we get it. There's something gold right here that I can see. Is that Klaus's dish or is that some sort of intel? I'm going to go check that out. I want to see what that is. Oh, yeah, it's Klaus's dish. Come here. I'll pick that up. Let's take these guys out before we head on down or at least as many as we can. Get one of those and then we're out of here. Is it gone now? Yep, looks like it. So it was Klaus's dish. Okay, on the decoy, please. Everybody, single file. There we go. Nice big wall of crits coming in. Oh, what's up, Panzer? Nice to meet you, dude. Nice you just stopped by. Too bad I'm going to have to kill you. Idiot. Oh, check the critical kills. 696 sex. 
I haven't caught a 69 in a while. But we still are having like no issues with ammo though. I mean, I might be speaking it into existence, but this thing does not seem to run out of it. Except for right now, when my mag's empty. Look at our crit to elimination ratio. This far in the game, we're still at 760 out of 800. And I'm pretty sure I've gotten a lot of kills just with my Frost Blast as well. So this thing's pretty nice for crits. It's a pretty steady firing weapon. It doesn't have much recoil. It does not move at all. Actually, hold on. Is this thing recoilless? Recoilless and with infinite ammo? What's going on? Is this gun just like a hidden gem? Yeah, I'm going to try this. I'm going to shoot this wall right here. I'm laying down the law. An entire clip. Looks like it's all shooting in the same spot. It's a little hard to see the decals, the gun decals, but they're all right here. That's crazy. This gun might be underrated as hell. Oh, great. Another Panzer. Eat a dick, Panzer. Eat multiple. Have as many as you'd like. Have a dick buffet. Oh, shit. Frost Blast. Gotta stay safe around here. And we got two Disciples, too. This is great. Fantastic. And I'm out of decoys. Okay, let's do this. So everybody can get off my back for a second. Oh, I found a decoy on the ground. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of kills with that Frost Blast. And our, our crit to elimination ratio is still pretty good. Oh, we got Manglers now. I forgot about these guys. Get out of here. I need to Frost Blast them. Get the Mangler out. Get the Disciple out. Keep on trucking. Throw down the decoy. Throw down another one. Oh, it's getting pretty crazy down here. Ring of Fire is so helpful towards these later rounds. You don't realize what you got till it's gone. I'm having to use all my decoys every round at this point just to keep up the efficiency. All right, let's go upgrade our gun to gold. There we go. Fully gilded out. This gun's kind of nasty. Oh, there's chemical. Speaking of nasty, chemicals are pretty nasty, but we're all done with our, our pack bunch camo. That was an awful transition. I'm not going to lie. Very bad segue. But this gun ain't that bad. It really isn't. Okay, I got a frost blast before I get absolutely clapped. It does freeze some zombies, which is kind of helpful. It's like an alternate cryo freeze, but it does kill a whole lot of them. It do be taking my kills away, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. On the decoy, please. Oh, you get fucked up in the process. Frost blast again. These disciples really need to leave. You guys powering up the zombies is not very cool. Get on that decoy again for me. So many crits off decoys. This is why I use decoys over stuns. Decoys can fuck up sometimes and, you know not go off or zombies just completely ignore them but when they work they work and we, we're really close to getting our crits done this has been fast i think we're be out of here in a round or two and then i can test out that ring of fire thing and i'm pretty proud of myself we're getting a lot done down here in power normally i don't like s stay alive too long down in power maybe it's this gun this gun's giving me the power in power oh okay yeah this frost blast does nothing against the panzers and it's really bad Really bad against Panzers. Panzers ignore it. I gotta run out of here. Or I get killed. Now we're just running around out here in the sewers. Let's loop back into power. Try to get some shots on them on the way in. Let's throw on a decoy. Take care of these zombies before the Panzer shows back up. Put on another one that they're ignoring. Classic decoy. Throw on another decoy. Please stay away from me, Panzer. Like for fuck's sake. Get off my dick. You play Clash of Clans, you be dick rider. Okay, we made it through. We survived. Mangler, see you later. Alligator. This is it. This is our round. Dark Aether will be here in one second. Right when we finish this round. Or even in the middle of it. Could be right now. Could be any time. Oh, shit. We're getting bombarded. Ugh. Hit that Frost Blast. Hit another Frost Blast. Stay away. Come on. Show me Gold Viper. What? Oh, we're so close. 30 away. Oh, there's Gold Viper immediately when the round starts. Let's go. Okay, so what I can do now... There's a zombie right in my face. The second I unpause, he's going to slap the shit out of me. Let's grab Ring of Fire. And now let's try this out. I want to see if the ammo count goes down at all. Because that has not basically our whole game. And we don't even have Mule Kick to pick up ammo. It just has not been going down. So let's try to earn a Ring of Fire real quick. You know, I can throw nades now. Who cares? Okay, we have our Ring of Fire. I'm popping it. Oh, yeah, look at look at our reserve ammo. It goes down by one bullet and immediately back up. There's something insanely bugged with this gun. This is nasty. Okay, now it's going down. Oh, no, it's back right back up. It was at 900 there for a second. This is going to have infinite ammo, though. I want to try to shoot out every bullet of this gun and see if it, like, goes down. Okay, we have a Disciple left. I don't care. I'm going, and I'm just shooting. I'm going to see if we can actually run out of ammo with this. I want to test this. 
I'll shoot all 1,000 bullets if I have to. I just want to see if this thing's capable of running out of ammo with this specific setup. It does shoot very slow, though. It takes a while to get through these mags, but we're down two mags. Okay, after two mags, it drops down to 960. Okay, it looks like it's dropping now. I just want to make sure, because maybe we're picking up just enough ammo to not drop under a certain amount, and then at that amount on the weapon or on the reserve ammo, it's just bugged to, like, the counter is bugged. This thing does have a lot of ammo on it. Not a very high fire rate, but it does decent damage. Like, I've just been walking around shooting it, and we still have 600 bullets left. I've I've already dumped five mags out of this gun. Like, this is just like a Whole Foods of ammo. It's probably not even a right description. Like, a Costco of ammo. Just as much ammo as you can think of, this gun's got it. All right, down to our last mag. I think it does run out of ammo. Uh, if you have a certain amount, if you're over, like, 900 bullets or something... Over like 960 in your reserve, it just will show as 1,000. But yeah, it can definitely run out of ammo. I just went and shot every bullet of it. All right, Disciple, thanks for waiting. You can take me out two health at a time. Come on, Disciple, you're pathetic. <laughs> this might just take longer than me shooting every bullet out of the gun. Look at I'm hands up. Got no controller in them, and you still suck. All right, Disciple, wake me up when you're done. Almost there. There you go, buddy. And we finally died. Okay, our final stats... 1,585 eliminations, 1,241 crits, zero revives, one down. That's just us getting out of here. This gun's pretty good. It's pretty good. Very underrated. All right, let's go ahead and check out what the mastery camos look like on the C58. Here is Gold Viper. Great coverage on this. Most of it's covered except for the trigger part of the weapon. I'm not a gun buff, so I couldn't tell you what it's called, but you can see the big area there without Gold Viper. Not the area that you normally see in game, and if you do, it's probably not going to be a whole lot. Most of the guns covered here. Great coverage on it. Looks great. Let's see what Plague Diamond looks like on it. Plague Diamond looking pretty snazzy. All studded out. You can see all that secondary colors, that purple metal on there. Not bad. Dark Aether looks pretty sick as well. This gun looks great. And it's extremely, extremely underrated. I want to see if any attachments change with this. Like if I put something on here, will that change the Dark Aether spread? The muzzles don't look like it. The barrels a little bit. It changes the shape of it. Looks pretty cool with some of these. Well, body attachments don't do anything. The grips don't do anything. Magazines look pretty cool. Those look nice. I'll throw the 60 on there. Tapes do nothing. And the stocks, some of them have coverage. Some of them don't. Like, why does this one have coverage and this doesn't? Pretty strange. Anyways, let's go see what it looks like in-game with Dark Aether. All right, I'm trying to switch up what maps I'm checking the camos out on. So today we're here on Drive-In. And this is what the C58 looks like with Dark Aether in-game. Like I said before, the inspect animation on it is awful. But the gun looks pretty good. So it's a shame that the inspect animation doesn't show more of it. You do kind of just throw it over to the side. I wish you picked it up more and you got to see more of like the clip and the stock and everything. But still a pretty good looking weapon. And it's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be one of those bottom tier ARs, and it might be in later rounds, but early rounds would even need mule kick, and it was just still packing on ammo. Like 120 bullets pack a punched in the mag, and a thousand in reserve is kind of insane. And it was holding its own down in electrical for a while. Not a bad gun at all. Pick you up a C58. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here. Make sure you guys leave your suggestions down below of what weapons you want to see us complete. Uh, I should have an uh, image of what all the weapons we have left to do. I have it at the beginning of the video somewhere. Hopefully, I, I remember to do that. But I know the comments haven't been working of me pinning it. They just get rid of it whenever I schedule the video. So hopefully you guys can see it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to end the video here. So if you guys like this, if you want to see more, go and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike if you're new here. Please consider subscribing and put all kinds of COD content throughout the week. Uh, please follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to be able to ship post and get a lot of likes. So if you want to help me out, head on over there. But uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.